Johnny, I told you I didn't want to be with you, and now look what's happened. You said that you accepted it, you acted like you got it, and you respected my decision. You were supposed to walk away. I did. Don't put it all on me. It is on you. You want me, but you're too damn ashamed to admit it. You're jerking me around on purpose. All right, so it's my it fault. It is your then fault. Then forget about us. I want to. I want to forget about you, but you won't let me. Little Michael Corinthos was shot. I would rather take the bullet from Michael than live with this. Because you know what? You're right. It is my fault. And Sonny's fault. And Jason's. And my father's. And all of us who live like this. Who kill each other for power and money and then turn right around and lie and say that we have honor. That we protect families. That women and children are safe. And it's a bunch of crap. Even if Michael makes it out of this alive, he's screwed. Violence is what he's grown up with. It's what's inside of him. And even if he wants out, there's no way he's getting away from it. You could walk away any time that you want. You just don't want to. I can help you. I you don't want your help. help. I did just fine without you for all these years. Which is a lot better than Michael Corinthos is doing. The kid's got a bullet in his you brain. Know what? Does that mean anything to you? We can't collateral discuss damage. discuss this here. I'm done discussing this with you. Period. I do not need you defending me. Sonny. I was just trying to help. Who asked you to? Guess how I repaid her. Flew up at her, basically threw her out the door. But honestly, I like waking up and knowing that she's in my life. Maybe I turn a corner and she's there. Well, you're the one who pushed me away. And you're the one who told me that I would know where to find you. Guess what? Found you. You know how sorry I was to hear about what happened to your son. My heart goes out to you and the rest of your family. I want to assure you that my sister and I had nothing to do with it. And the truce is still intact as far as we're concerned. Okay, so then I won't rush to judgment. My father's a brutal, murderous bastard who deserves to be locked up till the end of time. So I don't use so much as think about having him released. Sane, determined to get his empire back, my father is unstoppable. Power is his life's blood. It's what gets him breathing. And the first thing he's going to do when he gets out is he's going to cut me off at the knees. And he's going to do that by coming after you. You just said that you would rather fall back into the life that you claim you've never wanted, that, that, that was forced upon you, than to make a new one with me. Where I'm from, that means you're either a liar or a coward. Oh, you're right. I'm a liar. This was all an act. I never gave a damn about you. In fact, it was just a way for me to get through a massive case of boredom. The only thing I regret is not skipping through all the caring about you crap and just jumping into bed with you as soon as I could. I never said that you didn't care, just not enough to make a difference. Your birthright means more to you than I ever will. Considering how we met and what you know about me, it's unbelievable to me that you think I will wake up one day magically transformed and we will live out our version of happily ever after. I have enemies and I kill them. It's part of the, the life that I lead, the business that I'm in. Okay, and no guilt or remorse, right? Who cares that a little child has been shot? You have nothing to be sorry for, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm sorry that I picked you up that first night because I knew we'd end up here. Well, don't worry. I'll live because I'll be a lot better off without you. Rick hasn't seen half of what you're capable of. I have. Things will be different from now on. You're right. It'll be worse. Don't push me. Or what? When you threaten to kill your own daughter, I believe you. That's the father we all know and love. And that's exactly why you're not getting out of here. Your father needs to think that his plan is working and that I've convinced you we need to be together. For just long enough for me to get something to bring to the feds. A recording, computer entry, something that they can use to convict him and put him away for good this time. But if you do that, you're going to destroy your family business and there'll be nothing left for you to inherit. Why would you throw to all save that? Save your life. You may be to save mine. I handle this business just fine without you. Don't forget yourself, John. 
I'm no longer some helpless cripple. I'm no longer some scared kid who does everything he's told. You'll treat me with respect. That's what I'm doing. I'll learn from you, I'll work with you, but I'm not gonna be you. I'm not gonna let this business infect every aspect of my life. It's like we're teetering on the edge of this cliff, one step in the wrong direction. Everything very clear and simple. Just before you fall. You may find there comes a time when you want to protect someone even more than your sister. Oh God, why the hell are we even doing this? Because we want him to trust you so we can gather evidence against him. I know, and it seemed like a great idea at the time, but it's too risky. I don't want to put you in any danger. All that matters is that we trust each other. My father tries to lay a hand on her, I'll kill him myself. Or die trying. I just wish I knew how to keep you safe. I'm looking for Claudia. Did you check the local motel? I'm asking you. Well, I haven't seen her since you shoved her out of that little business meeting of ours. And call me pessimistic, but I wouldn't put it past you to go a little further and have her thrown under a bus. <laughs> what it's worth. I had nothing to do with your arrest. I accept that. I got caught in the crossfire of your family fallout. I want you to make sure that the same thing doesn't happen to my daughter. I've always done my best to look after Lulu. That won't change. Okay, but it is dangerous where we're going. And I'm not just talking about because of my father, but because of us, the way we feel. Lulu, if I ever hurt you, I wouldn't be able to live with that. Okay, you wanted to know what Morgan would do, now you know! So leave it alone! We need to stick to our territory and let Morgan do the same! He insulted me. He made me look weak. A war gets us nothing. He is younger than you and he has a lot less to lose. The smart choice is to leave it alone. Let this be the end. This is gonna sound really bad, but I'm happy your husband is. <laughs> You'd be better off ditching that hysterical bitch. Dare I hold up a mirror? Whether you approve or not, Lulu and I are together, and I will not watch her be disrespected by you or anybody else, Fine. so you back it's off! It's a mistake, John! The two of you can't stand each other. I get it. But you're going to have to learn how to coexist because both of you are in my life and you're not going anywhere.